even if you've got a good handle on the admittedly complicated backstory to Blackest Night, that still leaves seven new core to keep track of. Each of the seven represents a different aspect of the emotional spectrum, something that sentient life created simply by existing. The colors themselves are actually fairly easy to remember, as they are the same as the colors of the rainbow. That's right it's time to bust out the old Roy G. B. I. V. mnemonic, because it's pretty much the entire key to Blackest Night. Well, that and the black light of the Black Lantern Core. That's probably important as well. Green is the central color, a fulcrum point between the three negative emotions, the Roy half, on one side and the positive emotions, the B.I.V. half, on the other. Its status as a pivot point is partially why, despite the colors representing an emotional spectrum, the stated quality of the Green Lantern core willpower isn't technically an emotion at all. Instead, it's the color of life itself, which balances out all the other colors. So, let's take a look at the various colors, and we might as well go in rainbow order. Green Lantern Core Green is the color in the center of the spectrum, and represents willpower. This color has the least amount of influence on the wielder, and can only be controlled by one who has an indomitable will that can overcome great fear. The Oz harnessed this energy. Following the departure of the controllers, those who remained on OA became the guardians of the universe, and used the green light as the power source for the Green Lantern Corps, an organization that would battle evil whenever and wherever it rose to threaten the universe. Origin Formed by the guardians of OA to pursue the goals of order and justice and maintain peace throughout the universe. Green Lantern Core Oath In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might, beware my power, Green Lantern's light, Red Lantern Core. Red is one of the energies far from the center, and represents the emotion of rage or anger. A person who has felt great rage is able to tap into the red light. However, Controlling the red light also renders the heart useless and spoils the blood of the wielder. In addition, the red light has the most profound effect on the mind of the wielder of all the lights, and renders most users to nothing more or less than a rabid animal. Origin The Red Lantern Core was formed by Atrocitus of the Five Inversions, one of the five survivors of the massacre of Sector 666. Using the blood magics of the five inversions, Atrocitus harnessed the red spectrum of light, allowing him to empower the rage within him. The red lantern ring was born out of anger and crystallized the blood of the inversions. Red Lantern Core Oath With blood and rage of crimson red, ripped from a corpse so freshly dead, together with our hellish hate, we'll burn you all, that is your fate. Yellow Lantern Core or Siestro Core Yellow is a color close to the center, and represents the emotion of fear. A being capable of instilling great fear in others is capable of wielding this power. The yellow light was finally harnessed by Siestro of Karugar and the Atimonitor of Quad to form the Siestro Core, an organization that would bring order to the universe by instilling those who would defy authority with fear. Origin Created by the Atimonitor in order to facilitate his plans to feed on New Earth and the multiverse. Co-created by Siestro to instill fear in the universe and the guardians of the universe so that they would be forced to change the laws of the Book of Oe. Siestro Core Oath In blackest day, in brightest night, beware your fears made into light. Let those who try to stop what's right burn like his power Siestro's might. Blue Lantern Core Blue is a color close to the center, and represents the emotion of hope. The blue light is capable of being wielded by a being who can bring hope for the future to others. The blue light is the most powerful of the spectrum, but it is also the most difficult to wield and understand. 
The exiled guardians Gavit and Sade were the first to harness the Blue Light, forming the Blue Lantern Corps, a force which would assist the Green Lantern Corps in its coming trials during the War of Light. Despite being the most powerful color, it may only function to its fullest effect in the proximity of the green light, hope on its own is hollow, requiring will to make it reality. The blue light is capable of draining the yellow light, suppressing the orange and red, and empowering the green. Origin Created to bring hope to the future in the light of so much destruction, when good faces overwhelming odds. Blue Lantern Core Oath in fearful day, in raging night, with strong hearts full, our souls ignite. When all seems lost in the war of light, look to the stars, for hope burns bright. Orange Lantern Core Orange is another energy away from the center, and represents greed, capable of being harnessed by those whose greed knows no bounds. The Controllers a Maltusia offshoot desiring to create an orderly universe by controlling it, sought the orange light to form their own core. However, they awoke Agent Orange. Because they were Maltusias, Agent Orange considered this a breach of the treaty he made with the Guardians and launched an attack on the universe. Those controlling the orange light are capable of stealing the identities of people they kill and use them to create energy constructs subservient to the wielder. Origin Millennia ago, long even for beings as ancient as the Guardians, the Guardians of the Universe went to war with the Keeper of the Orange Light, in that war their forces were nearly decimated and peace was only reached by making a pact with the Keeper of the Orange Light, and it was covered by a peace treaty with the Spider Guild. The pact stipulated that as long as the Keeper of the Orange Light kept it buried deep beneath the surface of Okara, then the Vega system would be outside the jurisdiction of the Green Lantern Corps. Laughlees is the only one has left in Orange Lantern crops and he is known as Agent Orange. The Orange Lantern Oath What's mine is mine and mine and mine. And mine and mine and mine. Not yours. Violet Lantern Core or Star Sapphire Core Violet is the other color furthest from the center, and represents the emotion of love. Those who are capable of great love, who have lost their loves, or been rejected are capable of wielding the violet light. The Zamorous believed that the male Malthasar's rejection of emotion was tantamount to blasphemy, and left Oe. Traveling across the universe, they found two crystallized corpses of a male and female embracing each other. Between them was a crystal known as the Star Sapphire, an object filled with the violet light. Unfortunately, the Zamoros interpreted the best way to spread love throughout the universe and destroy hate and fear was to use the Star Sapphires to crystallize whole worlds and trap their inhabitants. Worse, the Star Sapphire was a parasite that overrode the host's will and compelled them to attack the objects of their affection, as well as display an intense fear of men. Those wielding the violet light may show others their destined loves via a Star Sapphire they possess, and create constructs out of Star Sapphire crystals as well as energy. Origin created by the Zamoros to spread and protect love throughout the universe. Star Sapphire Core Oath For hearts long lost and full of fright, for those alone in blackest night, accept our ring and join our fight love conquers all with violet light. Indigo Lantern Core or Indigo Tribe Indigo is a color farther from the center, and represents the emotion of compassion. The indigo light can be wielded by one with great compassion for other beings, used to heal the sick and wounded. However, compassion can also be forced upon a person, turning them into a slave that feels only the indigo emotion. The users of this light are capable of absorbing and utilizing the lights of other core as they would their own, and even to temporarily become one of that core. The indigo tribe has harnessed this power most against their will. 
Origin Centuries ago violent explorers came to Ok and transformed it into a slave center. It is those invaders who would build dungeons that held the indigenous population of Ok before transporting them across the universe to fates unknown. This was until a Bicer came, together with one of the remaining indigenous members of the planet, Atromo, he fought the invaders. Together Abysa and Atromo discovered the power of the indigo light. It comes from the spring within a cavern in the deep jungles, from an unknown source deep within the world of Ok. The original inhabitants used its heat to forge their weapons. They soon learned that once their enemies were cut with these weapons, they momentarily changed. For a brief time, they were overcome with remorse. Through the rest of the indigenous people returned to the jungles after they were freed, Atromo stayed to teach Abysa the ways of the indigo light. Indigo try both. Tolo Exan, Boraka Muramic Acid, Atromo Fartarek Water, Terras Lantern Kalo Abysa, Talek Lek Ok Formorosa. Black Lantern Kor. Black is the color of the dead and emotionless. It is the color of the Black Lantern Core. Black, technically not a color but more an absence of color and light, does not appear on the spectrum itself for this reason, as the emotional spectrum is a light-based energy classification. Those dead or once dead are capable of becoming Black Lanterns. Origins In the beginning, the darkness had been in existence long before the birth of the universe until during the dawn of time it was banished by the white light of creation. Even though the darkness failed to fight back the white light, it caused the white light to splinter into the emotional spectrum. 3. Though defeated, the darkness would return to continue its fight against creation. Black Lantern Core Oath The blackest night falls from the skies. The darkness grows as all light dies. We crave your hearts and your demise. By my black hand, the dead shall rise. White Lantern Core The white light of life is where the emotional spectrum originated. According to Indigo, one and the guardians of the universe, in the beginning the universe was absolute darkness. At an unspecified point in history, the white light was introduced by an entity or entities unknown, and for 700 years the universe was nothing but a blinding white light. The darkness however, fought back against the light, eventually dividing it into the seven colors of the spectrum that exists today. Those who wield the white light have the capability to resurrect the dead, teleport, and can create constructs that can potentially last longer than those cast by other lights. The white energy comes from all living things, and all living things from it. So far, Ring wielders seem to have no control over the ring itself, the rings doing the bidding of the life entity. Unlike other rings, which must be charged from a battery, with the exception of black, white rings are automatically charged whenever the wielder performs actions that constitute living. Origins Dead man learns from the entity that it is dying and needs to find the chosen one to take his place which is dead man's task. He thought of Hal Jordan as the perfect candidate and as he told the entity to take him to him. Instead of taking him to Hal Jordan, the White Lantern Ring takes Dead Man and Dove to Aquaman and Mera, New Earth. Aquaman explains what the White Lantern told him, to find Jackson Hyde. Dead Man questions why the Lantern took him to Aquaman when he could be searching for the entity's replacement. The Ring replies that to find the new entity, Dead man must help all the other resurrected complete their tasks. Aquaman understands what's at hand and explains to Dead Man that for him to succeed he must find and help others and tell them what has to happen. To watch my other videos, click on the videos in the screen. Subscribe to the channel to watch more. Click like. Make a comment. Share.